Yo, Yo, come on. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how you can make a switch controller. Now that's not the official name but I'm just going to call it that because the, the name makes sense. Okay so essentially what we'll be doing is creating a switch that we'll be using to control the, the, the change of the mouth shapes. So here in my layers panel I have a group called mouth. Now the name of the group doesn't really matter, okay? Now, and within this group, I have three different mouth shapes. So I'm just gonna turn them on one by one so you can see. Here's the first one, the second one, and the third one. So I'm gonna turn them all on, and I'm going to select the mouth group, and go over into the properties, let me bring this up a bit and what we want to do is where it says Z range we want to left click here to take it and with the Z range selected we can now use the Z range position to change the mouth shapes like so so if I type in a value of one or two um, etc depending on the amount of mouth shapes we have so I'm just gonna set this back to zero Okay, so the next step is to actually right click the Z range position and click on convert and we want to convert it to an integer. Okay, so a solid value. And then once we click on, once we convert, we see that it now has a drop down list. And if I click on the drop down list, we see it has a link. Right click the link and click on export value. Now, what we're doing is we're exporting the value of the Z range position and storing it in the library for later use. Okay, so I'm just going to call this um, mode shapes. Oh, I spelled shapes wrong. Okay, wait, S H A P E S. Okay, yeah. So, um, and again, the name doesn't matter but I'm just using names that make sense okay and then click on export and now if you click on this icon right here this white icon and where it says value based nodes if you click on the drop down list you can see the mouth shapes that we just exported all right so now we need to create the controller to link it to this value right here and start the process. So um, to create a controller, just right click, go to new layer and go to transform. And we're actually gonna choose the rotate from the list because out of all of these transforms, the rotate has more options. So click on rotate. And I'm actually going to isolate this, um, this layer right here by grouping it. So I'm gonna click the group icon, to put it within a group. So it doesn't really affect um, any other layer apart from what is within this group. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is Yo, click body. on the rotate layer. As a matter of fact, let, let us rename this and call it controller. So we can easily identify it. And over in its properties, we want to click on a mount, right click, go to convert, and for this one we actually want to convert it to scale and i'll explain why um this is because we need the scale so that whenever we we um we rotate the controller the scale would tell it by how many degrees it needs to be rotated by before you see a change before it, it switches from one shape to the next um so with the, this now selected, we see that we, well, with this now created, we see that we have a link as well. I'm just gonna right click this link and go to convert and click on integer. Um, and the reason why we're using integer is integers are, you know, solid values and it's easy to change those values. So it's easy to link those values. Um, by the way, the, the, the values um, here has to be the same as these values here. So 
for the mouth shape, we had an integer value. And for this one, we need an integer value as well. So if I click on the link, the drop down list for the link, we see there's now um, this link. And this is what we need now. Okay. So with the controller selected um, and this link selected, right? What we want to do is right click. Well, make sure that this, the mouth shapes is selected in the library and then go back here, right click and click on connect. And it, it's now, what it has done, it has now connected the controller to the mouth shapes group. Okay, so let's go to the scale, the scalar, and I'm go going to type in a value of maybe, let's say 90. So if I should rotate this, the controller by 90 degrees, we'll then see the, the shape of the mouth changes. Well, yeah, the, the sh shape of the mouth will change from one shape to the next. So let's test that out. And there we see it changes. Now there's no um, shape here, so you won't see anything. But if we go this direction, you'll see the change. Okay, um, and if we change this by 30 degrees, we only need to rotate it by 30 degrees before we see the change in the shape. Okay. And that's how you would create a controller to change the change your shapes, um, switch out one shape for the next shape. Um, you can also animate this. If I should go to the timeline, turn on animate. All we would need to do is just to rotate this and then to, to get a keyframe and then move this again to get another keyframe. Okay, so it makes your it makes animation or animating easier. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Demardi.